At this stage in the COVID pandemic, testing is scattered between homes and healthcare settings, and mild illnesses are less likely to be reported. Going in depth today, Fox 13 News anchor Max Roth joins us to take a look at how public health leaders are making sure they have a real feel for what's going on. Max. Yeah, Bob, the CDC made a dramatic change in February. Cases in general were milder because of vaccines and variants, so they decided to peg a community's risk level to hospitalizations. The CDC is also expanding its use of another measure that works well even though it stinks. It's a common denominator we learn as children. Everyone poops. And if COVID-19 is in your body, it's in your poop. Around the country, the CDC is tracking wastewater at 605 sites. Utah has 32 sites tested twice a week. Most of us, more than 2,771,000, send our sewage to those 32 treatment plants. We'll go through three maps that tell us a lot about them. First map says COVID is everywhere. The 30 dark red dots here show the sites where 80 to 100 percent of samples taken for 15 days detected COVID. The two orange dots mean COVID was found in 60 to 79% of samples. Second map, COVID is mostly on the rise. The five blue dots show places where they're seeing less COVID in sewage over 15 days. Three red dots show a thousand percent increase in parts of Cache, Box Elder, and Utah counties. 17 orange dots show 100 to 999% increases, including the most populated areas of Salt Lake, Utah, and Davis counties. The third map tells us if samples Samples detect a lot of the virus or just a bit. On this scale, 100% would mean the worst two weeks of the pandemic. Most of the state is in the 50% range, average over the time that they've tested. And while COVID-19 hospitalizations are on the rise nationwide, the CDC director, Dr. Rochelle Walensky, says people who are in the hospital now are less likely to require oxygen or to have to go to the ICU. Live in studio, Max Roth, Fox 13 News, Utah.